This screencast video lecture explains about the sulfur oxidizing bacteria. The biological oxidation of elemental sulfur could be taking place in the following steps. That is hydrogen sulfide is oxidized into elemental sulfur. It is further converted into thiosulfate then to tetrathionate and finally as a sulfate. The microbes that have been involved there in this sulfur oxidation are divided into three categories. First one refers to the photoautotrophic organism. This includes the colorful sulfur bacteria that comprises of green and purple sulfur bacteria. Second one refers to the hemolithotrophic autotrophs as well as photolithotrophs or photolithotrophic heterotrophic organisms. Example for hemolithoautotroph is acidithiobacillus and for the photolithoheterotroph is rhodobacter. And third category refers to heterotrophic organism. These are all wide range of bacteria and fungi that are playing a major role there in the sulfur oxidation. They are always enriched there in the aerobic environment and the types of organism involved in this heterotrophic sulfur oxidation includes Arthrobacter, Bacillus, Micrococcus, Mycobacterium, Pseudomonas, certain Actinobacteria, and uh, different kinds of fungi including Abyssidia, Alternaria, Fusarium and Trichoderma. When an autotrophic sulfur oxidation is accomplished there in an environment, the reductant need to be transferred to carbon dioxide. As a result, it is converted into cellular carbon. When carbon dioxide fixation is not a major process during the sulfur oxidation, the Electrons could be transferred there to the proton leading to formation of hydrogen. Sometime under certain situation that is in the absence of combined nitrogen there in the environment, this sulfur oxidation could be coupled there to the reduction of atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia. The autotrophic bacteria that have been involved there in the sulfur oxidation is broadly divided into two categories. One is colorful sulfur bacteria and another one is colorless sulfur bacteria. Example for colorful sulfur bacteria includes chromatium, allochromatium, chlorobium, chlorofluxus and rhodobacter. Whereas colorless sulfur bacteria includes acidithiobacillus thioxidans, acidithiobacillus peroxidans, halothiobacillus neopolitanus, bigotova, thiotrix and thioplaca. First we look at the points related to colorful sulfur bacteria. It includes green sulfur and pulp sulfur bacteria that have been present in the environment that are phylogenetically diverse and morphologically of different forms including cocci, vibrio, rod, spiral and they can be exhibiting a budding base division and gliding motility is also common among the organisms. Both the groups are commonly found in the mud as well as the stagnant waters that found to have hydrogen sulfide and there is a good exposure of sunlight. They can also found under extreme conditions of high salinity and temperature even sometime in the sulfur hot springs and saline lakes also this colorful sulfur bacteria can be present under the salt deposits. All these colorful sulfur bacteria found to have bacterial chlorophyll that is bacterial chlorophyll A in common. In addition they also found to have other kinds of chlorophyll and other pigments. This Pigments and chlorophyll function mainly in the energy generation through photophosphorylation process. The green sulfur bacteria which is referred as a GSB belongs to a separate phylum named chlorobiota. They are strictly anaerobic and obligately phototrophic in nature. They can able to use hydrogen sulfide and elemental sulfur as a photosynthetic electron donor molecule and they are all in turn get oxidized into sulfate during the process of sulfur oxidation. Their light absorbing pigments include carotenoids such as green carotenoids of chlorobactin or brown forms such as isoreniretin and beta isoreniretin. They all found to have bacterial chlorophyll of C, D and E types that have been arranged inside some special membranous structure referred as a chlorosomes. These chlorosomes are highly efficient to absorb the light energy at very low intensities. This is the basic reason why green sulfur bacteria are present in the deepest regions of the lake and inland seas 
that commonly receive low light intensities. Literally, they are the group of bacteria that uses the lowest light intensities among all the different types of phototrophic organism. Here the carbon fixation is mediated by reverse TCS cycle or arnon buchanan cycle. This organism produce external sulfur granules when they are allowed to grow on hydrogen sulfide. These sulfur granules can be easily traced while you microscopically examine this organism. A typical example of a green sulfur bacteria is chlorobium. The next one is purple sulfur bacteria which is referred as a PSB. It belongs to phylum Pseudomonadota and belong to a class of gamma proteobacteria. During their growth on the environment, they produce different colors ranging from bluish violet through purple violet coloration or sometimes of orange brown to brownish red or pink coloration mainly due to the presence of spirulozanthine. A peach brown coloration could be resulted due to the presence of tetrahydrospirulozanthine. And Wokinone is the one which gives a red color for this particular group of organisms. Apart from that, they also dominatively contains bacterial chlorophyll such as B, which gives color for this organism. The important members of this purple sulfur bacteria belongs to the family Chromatiaceae. They include Chromatium, Thiospirulum, Thiocapsa that able to store elemental sulfur internally when they are grown in the presence of hydrogen sulfide. The main pathway of carbon fixation by these organisms is through Kelvin-Benson cycle. Both purple sulfur bacteria and green sulfur bacteria can able to oxidize hydrogen sulfur to sulfate with the help of intermediates such as thiosulfate, elemental sulfur, tetrathionates. The other occasional members of the colorful sulfur bacteria that oxidize sulfur includes green non-sulfur bacteria that is belong to the genera chlorofluxus. It belongs to a separate phylum which contains carotenoids of olive green and a bacterial chlorophyll of C type. They are able to fix carbon by using hydroxy propionate pathway. The next group is a purple non-sulfur bacteria which is referred as a PNSB. It specifically belongs to the genera of rhodospirulum which comes under the class gamma proteobacteria. These are the bacteria that are all anaerobic to facultative aerobic in nature and some belongs to photoorganotrophs and sometimes facultative hemoorganotrophy is also exhibited in this bacteria. This bacteria also found to have various kinds of pigment similar to that of the purple sulfur bacteria. The important pigments here includes the spirulosanthine, hydrospirulosanthine, spiroidin that gives yellowish brown to brownish red color under an oxygenated condition whereas greenish to beach brown color will be resulted under a reduced condition. However, in both purple non-sulfur bacteria and green non-sulfur bacteria, sulfur oxidation process limits to formation of elemental sulfur. That is, some other sulfur oxidizing bacteria that present in the environment alone need to convert the elemental sulfur into sulfate. Next, we look at into the details for colorless sulfur bacteria. They are heterogeneous collection of taxonomically unrelated group of bacteria that oxidizes reduced sulfur compounds as an inorganic source to generate energy. They are capable of fixing atmospheric carbon dioxide into cell carbon. Many of them can able to utilize other substrate like hydrogen also. A wide unrelated array of diverse hemolithotrophs have been grouped under colorless sulfur bacteria on the basis of their sulfur oxidation process. This includes Members like Acidithiobacillus, Thiobacillus, Bigiotova, Thioplaca and Thiothrix and it also includes certain archaeans like Acidianus and Sulfolobus. Colorless sulfur bacteria basically can be divided into two forms. One is a unicellular sulfur oxidizing bacteria. Another one is a filamentous sulfur oxidizing bacteria. Under unicellular forms, it includes Acidithiobacillus, Thiomicrospira and Thermothrix, whereas filamentous sulfur oxidizing bacteria are commonly come across there in the interface of sulfide containing muds and in the aerobic environment. This includes Bigiotova, Thiothrix and Thioplaca. The type of nutritional relationship observed include obligately hemolithotrophic form, example is Acidithiobacillus, facultative hemolithotrophs including Sulfolobus, hemolithoheterotrophs that belongs to thiomonas 
and thiotrix that belongs to sulfur oxidizing hemoorganotrophic group of nutrition. The colorless sulfur bacteria play an important role there in the oxidative side of the sulfur cycle. Common oxidation products of sulfide are elemental sulfur and sulfate. They are referred to the term colorless mainly due to the lack of photopigments in this bacteria. But their colonies are dense cultures found to exhibit a pink or brown coloration which may be attributed to the cytochrome contents in this bacteria. These sulfur bacteria are able to grow at a neutral to slightly alkaline pH values that are commonly come across there in the marine and freshwater sediments, soils and wastewater treatment systems. Some colorless sulfur bacteria are extreme acidophils that is they can able to grow at a pH value as low as 1. This group include mesophilic obligate as well as facultative autotrophs like acidithiobacillus feroxidans and acidithiobacillus acidophilus respectively. The acidophilic colorless sulfur bacteria are abundant in locations such as acid mine drainage water. Therefore, interestingly, they also found to possess the oxidation ability of other metals such as ion through which they can able to get energy. Thus, acidithiobacillus feroxidans was able to grow mixotropically on iron and sulfur components of the pyrite. These acidophilic sulfur oxidizers along with sulfate reducing bacteria were commonly come across there on the corrosion problems of the pipelines. Indeed, a strain of acidithiobacillus thioxidans was basically isolated from a corroding concrete pipe. This colorless sulfur oxidizing bacteria were found growing at a temperature ranging from 4 to 95 degree centigrade. However, majority of the sulfur oxidizers belong to mesophilic group of organism. Finally, we look at certain applications of the sulfur oxidizing bacteria. They play a major role in the biogeochemical cycling of the sulfur. They are involved in the bioleaching process and in biofiltration. Some of the sulfur oxidizing bacteria are used as a biofertilizers to mainly supply sulfur as a nutrient for the plant system. Some sulfur oxidizing bacteria are specifically used as a biocontrol agent against certain streptomyces pathogens. They can be used for deodorization. They can be playing a role there in the rubber recycling and finally they play role as a biosensors.